Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, dear friends. Welcome back to Survey Designing and Civil 3D Video Series by Murad Farooq. Dear friends, today video is very important. In this today with tutorial, we will be learn basic of Google Earth. In this video, we will learn the basic settings, how to use the Google Earth. You can use it in your different uh, engineering fields it's very important so dear friends if you found this video helpful please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for more such informative videos if you have any comments please just do a comment in the comment box I will be give you a quick response okay let's start my dear friends first of all navigation you can see this area is called navigation this is the navigation area from here you can uh, able to move and see and zoom anything for example if just when you open your google earth your look will be look like will be the just need to close this one okay if you want to zoom you can zoom from this if you want to zoom out you can zoom out from this and this area just you can move here left to right down up and from here this is the landscape this is the north you can see the north direction here this one is showing the north direction if you uh, click this one you can move it like that and this one is eyes you can see this one you can move is like that also okay so and from the uh, left side you can see this uh, this board from here you can search any place you want to search any buildings place hotel or any areas you can't search from here uh, we will be search later in this videos okay and here is your layers which layer you want to open you can open it easily here is the different name of layers you can throw the links oceans weather calorie roads photos you can select any layers and here is your tape a basic settings here you can uh, your bird turbo for path line and you can measure anything and here you can see the sunlight across and here you can if you click on this from here you can select sky mars or moon you you we will be see these settings in this video let's see this one file from here you can save your file email print import or anything you can choose from this one and the next option is uh, edit from here you can edit copy the image copy the locations and from here tools you can see ruler tables gps uh, movie makers you can able to make a movie or anything and from here this is the most important option here is a option this one we need to learn about this because this is the basic of google earth just click on this when you open you will be see the table on your screen okay and here you can see your decimal degree degree minutes and degrees a utm systems and here in this area you can able to see unit of measurement you can select feet miles and meters kilometers you can select so i select i want to select utm system and a meter and a kilometer if you want to change according to your job you can select from here and also here is different options here navigation journal you can uh, able to select any option from here once you select everything then you need to click on apply and okay now you're ready for do any job just i wanted to search any uh, any place from the search engine place just i wanted to search new york okay new york city usa just click on this and click the search now you will be see automatically if it's depend on your internet speed if your internet speed is very good you can see it's very quick if your internet is bad you cannot see it quickly you need you must should need to wait for a few minutes okay let's just see and zoom this one now i wanted to show you the layers what this mean by this layers and why they are giving google this is a product of google 
Why the Google Earth and Google is giving the layers? What is the benefit of all? We will be explain this one by one. If once you see this, you can be able to use it very easily. Please, let's keep in touch. Okay, dear friends, now we are going to explain the layers. If, if you click, this is the photos. If you click on this, the photo is hidden if you again to click on the photos you can see the photos if you click on any photo you can able to see the photo just click on the photos you can see the photos for this area let's just wait a moment okay this one is the bridge you can see the bridge area this is the bridge okay any other photos you can see just click on this photo just close this one and click these photos okay this will be definitely of waters because this is right on the top of this river oh you can see this is water okay so this one is the one layer okay and the other one this one red which one you see this one is database this database which one you see the initial layer okay from here you can select this also this one layer and borders and labels you can select border and labels once you click you can see the border and labels there just wanted to close this one you can see this one this uh, names of places or anything what else okay I wanna just to close this one no i wanted to show you the building is no is looking 2d once i click on the 3d buildings it will be look like 3ds and if you click on the road you can be able to see the roads no you can see it's very easily and very clearly if you click and uncheck this one oh no your road is lines is hidden just again click no is everything is clear okay just i want to go to again click on 3d buildings no i want i want to show you the three 3d buildings okay from here i want to show you the 3d buildings if you uncheck this the 3d buildings will be hide if you again check the 3d buildings is no you are looking it's very clearly okay just uncheck no any 3d building just this one you can see now we are using to this uh, this boards you can see or oh, just move like that now you can see the 3d views and 3d buildings okay just see this like that you can scroll like that you can scroll like that you can see it's able to see the buildings now it's the 3d views you can see okay just it takes a few minutes because of uh, this is so too much plots if you the internet connection is not very good if the internet connection is good you can be able to see it's very very clear the buildings this is your 3d buildings you can see which one buildings you want to see any place or anything just this one which one I show you we will be used like that just see this one just you can scroll also from from the mouse here you can scroll also from the mouse here okay you can see each and everything 3d buildings and then, okay so dear dear fellows and friend and friends and uh, dear students it's very important i want to just to show something uh, i want to close these 3d systems for example if you wanted to go to um, measure any place any area you can be measure this is very easily just I want to show here any area if I want to see on this one okay you can line by line you if you want to see this is by line straight you can measure it like that okay from here to here if you want to measure you can see here the you can see six 
थ्री एट पॉइंट वन टू मीटर्स यू कैन चेंज हेयर दिस किलोमीटर्स इंचज फीट यार्ड्स माइल्स यू कैन सेलेक्ट एनी वन ओके एंड यू कैन आल्सो सेलेक्ट दिस वन पाथ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मे डू मेजरमेंट लाइक पाथ लाइक द वे इज गोइंग लाइक दैट पाथ दिस वन लाइक दैट दिस वन लाइक दैट दिस वन लाइक दैट ओके इट्स लाइक पाथ द अदर वन इज लाइन दिस इज एबल टू use uh, doing measurement in like you can select path distance you can see everything each and everything you can see in this one okay and you can also select from here a polygon like that if you want to select this polygon is like that you can see this one is polygon this one this polygon you can select the polygon or you can select any circle this one you can select any circle just i wanted to remove this delete this all i wanted to show again the circle you can select the circle from here just select the circle like that you can um, do measurement by circle okay just uh, delete this one okay and 3d path you can do it's 3d 3d path this one is 3d path and 3d polygon you can use this 3d polygon like that okay so you can measure uh, your distance it's very easily just close this one this is we will be make brief videos on this uh, regarding uh, then in next video we will be see how we can take the coordinates levels from the google earth and how we measure the original coordinates how we will be see the uh, latitude and longitude and we will be to uh, this practice and we will convert this to utm and again we will convert it to degree and minutes this uh, sheet i will be provide in next video and uh, keep in touch i will be too for it's from basic level to advanced level uh, here you can just these few steps remaining here view in google maps you can see view in google maps from this this area and from here you can save the image if you want to save the image for this area just you can click on this then you can save your image you can save image like that from here the options of image and from here is the resolution and which resolution you wanna to save your image here is high resolution and low resolution you can see hd 1920 like that you can see and from this option at last you can open its uh, you can save your image okay let's close this one we don't want to save the image just from here which i uh, told you in the initial of this video you can select sky from here now you can see the sky okay this one is the sky and again this one sky you can see this sky and again if you want to select the mars no you can see the mars from here this is the mars peak and from here you can select the moon if you select moon you can be able to see the moon from here okay just we need to select the earth again this one is the option which one is remain the email if you want to send email an email any place which you want to send to your friend companies owner anyone you can send by email from here uh, just one thing is remaining which i wanted to explain here in this corner you can see the original coordinates of the area easting northing uh, you can see the area's coordinates and for here you can see this i it's mean on how much height from how much height you are seeing this area if you are zooming this area is going like that reducing if you are going up you are area is going like that you can see and how much distance you are see no is too much high this value when you are going to zoom in you can see this a this value is uh, decreasing and for for here this one option you can see this date 
this date its mean and which date this area or this image is taken you can see the date updated date from which date is taken these things so my dear friends and my dear students i hope you learn from this video in a new video we will be bring very good information regarding the google earth keep in touch please share this video with your friends colleagues and your families on whatsapp youtube uh, and also on facebook you can share this video i am very thankful to you thank you very much allah face